name's Warner Watkins from Brownstone. We're a brand that's going to be featured at Complex Con this upcoming year. And we've been working on this brand for about two to three years now. Maybe a little longer. Always a little longer. <laughs> this is my brother, Waverly. We do it together. How you guys doing? A great concept that we always loved was we loved Margella. Because the idea of Margella is like, there's not a face to it. Just like when you see a brownstone, you don't necessarily know what's inside. Like, you don't have no idea like what could be behind the door. It could be like something really amazing. It could be, it's always changing. It could be anything. So we could be anything. So my name is Esper. Um, my brand is Come Back as a Flower. Um, based in LA, born and raised here. I'm super inspired by, by nature and like the patterns found in nature, like animals, geography, like landscape, just the kind of balance of color within natural elements and patterns. Comeback started in winter of 2018 in New York City. When I was living there, I was freelancing and working like a nine to five. I was just experimenting with dyes, um, just like on my own personal stuff. And it kind of just gained momentum once I showed one of my stylist friends and they got it on this person and that person and it kind of just snowballed from there. Uh, design became this service that I offered to my friends and family to make tattoo stencils for people. And then from there, it kind of became this creative outlet that I sat on for three or four years. And about the fourth year, I started putting it to fabric. And then after a year of making really bad designs, I picked my favorite ones. And that's where this started. The brand and what I'm building is an extension of myself. It's a lot of it is my experiences, the things that I grew up seeing, and all of that is being manifested into a visual format. Whatever I'm introducing into it is gonna be really new. If I make a hoodie out of a San Marcos blanket, you may not know what a San Marcos blanket is, but you've owned a hoodie before. So you're already kind of like halfway into the story, and then I get to meet you the other way. I think that the people that go to Complex Con are looking to engage in something cultural and and also artistic, and uh, and I think the fact that there's they they go there with this certain expectation, and that's really helpful to us because that means that we have to really bring it. Best things I think me and Wave do is like when we can like come together on a piece and like together say like you should like we get a, a mix, a best of both worlds type of vibe. Japanese this is a final bro. sample from the pattern yeah, we made. It's a uh, really cool Japanese, I guess you would call it a tanker jacket. Over here we've got like hidden pocket going on right here that actually that all re re zips over here, so we got double pockets. So we try to right use there. the best materials we can, we but can the design do, implications and everything come from just yeah. traditional outdoor pieces and everything. Yeah, the I'm idea like for pleasing. us was to hit yeah. a, something that was still aesthetically pleasing, functional, and yeah. not over the top. I'm influenced by Latinx culture because that's how I grew up. These are the references that I have. This is what I didn't know was beautiful until I had to relearn that where I came from was beautiful. What we're building at ComplexCon is a carniceria. It's an extension of kind of how we built the accessories, actually. All of the accessories came from me thinking about um, how the most amazing dishes that we consume now all stemmed from like using all of the parts of either an animal or a plant. And I started to think about what is my bone broth, right? How can I, I take the smallest piece of the remnants to create something that's beautiful and that's equally delicious as the jackets. We're gonna be bringing pieces that are uh, inspired the Paniolos, which is our next story. That's about the Hawaiian um, cowboys and the relationship between uh, the Paniolos and the Mexican people. So we're doing something for ComplexCon, we're doing a program. So this temporary space is gonna be called Offline. And the concept of Offline will be, we'll be having pieces, our ready-made program, available for the first time. We're gonna have the collection, you can come shop early. 
at, uh, yeah. at the booth and everything. So you can do a shop early. There's, you can come and see the collection. We'll have some spe AW special pieces just there. Yeah, we'll have a few like one-offs and everything made like exclusively for Complex Con. There's something different about someone you know, holding product and asking for background and pointing to pictures and saying, where did you take this or who took this? Getting to have that like interaction with people is what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm really excited. I think we're gonna have a really strong showing and it's really exciting to have a platform like ComplexCon for it because Chicago was really special for us. And so I imagine Long Beach will be even better. I'm really excited for this piece. It's really hard to figure out this print over a zip. Oh, we'll, we'll do restocks on our two classic raw college pieces. This is two alt colorways. Well, it's like this dog graphic has performed super well for us. Super excited to bring these back. Oh, and then Stable Classic, our best selling piece to this point. We're gonna do a reset on new Western Dickies. This was like pre Nas X, we designed this. So we had to pull it during the Western hype. Uh, but it was just to take on white dickies. It felt like the like the white dickies pants and like the cowboy Western vibes had like really strong synergy. Being a part of Complex Pecan is like just, it's amazing. I grew up reading Complex magazine, you know, with Kanye on the cover, and like it's just always been an inspiration to so to be like actually physically involved is like really, really incredible. These are some of the new pieces. Um, these are the new graphics that we're gonna be debuting at Complex Con. Um, I designed everything myself, as well as dyed everything. Uh, we're gonna also be doing some vintage pieces as well. Um, this is an old Girl Scouts shirt from the 80s that I dyed. Um, we also have you know, the old Grateful Dead, of course. Um, and we also are gonna be dropping some hoodies. This is a sample, so we'll have some more different versions, but everything's sustainable, 100% recycled cotton. We went to South Central and we did all of this research, which is what, what you're looking at here, um, on what what is it that makes the carnicerias what they are. And because at that time, it's actually going to be Dia de los Muertos, we're incorporating the color orange into things. So the curtains that we're going to have here that are normally these type of like meat market um, curtains are, are, I don't know what you would call them, panels. Um, they're going to be in the color orange to represent that. Um, we're also going to have um, some more traditional, like we're going to have scales. We're going to have um, just a lot of different details like this that you'll see. Uh, so everything is connected. There is never really like a beginning and, and an end to anything that we're doing because it's just a common thread. It's like life. You know, there's not really like a stopping point. This is our suede trucker jacket. Uh, yeah. We got, it comes in two different, it comes in two different colorways. Both of them again, have cotton silk twill liners. Um, difference in the jet, and I'm sorry, in the orange one, as opposed to the yellow, is that it has this contrasting corduroy collar. which is really cool. We're playing around with a lot with corduroy this season. Uh, it's a lot of different fabrics. Yeah. When we first started, I, I remember, um, we were trying to go, what we were trying to do was create a trucker jacket. But we ended up, I like guess, our with, version of Yeah, I was the our version of an updated truck. More I'm, substantial, just in terms of weight, feel, fit. It came off with more of like a shirt jacket vibe than the actual silhouette that we were going for. So as you look right here, you can see like that first we had like pocket center in the front. On the final version, we've moved those to the side, which gives it a little bit more of a boxier fit. It gives it more of a fit of an actual jacket than as opposed to yeah. a shirt. In the end, I get to present something that is like a piece of art that no one else is gonna be able to have that you own. So it's like a really special thing, um, especially at this stage in the brand. Wow, what does Akiwa look like? I never really think about that. I know that sounds crazy because it's, uh, it's all coming from my head, so I'm never really planning it. It's just whatever feels natural, but I think how most people would describe it is that it's very colorful. It does have a sense of folklore. Uh, it's kind of like reality meets fantasy. You know, it's it's like 
uh, very nostalgic, but also futuristic at the same time, because I'm always navigating those worlds, you know, the stories from the past, and then how do we manifest these moving forward, and how do we do it in a way that's fucking cool. Yo, what's good for Complex News? I'm Pierce Simpson, and we're only days away from Complex Con. Yes, it's right around the corner. Come through for exclusive high-end drops, fresh collabs only at the event, and performances by some of the biggest artists in the game, all in one place. For more exclusive content, be sure to visit ComplexCon.com. And remember, ComplexCon, Long Beach, November 2nd and 3rd. Come experience the future.